Hi guys, today we're reviewing the Proton Mini Express. Hi guys, Holly from Vent Mill. Today we're reviewing the Proton Mini Express and I'd like to thank EC Click for sending it me for the purposes of our review. As always, check out my written review at Easy Click. Uh, the link's down in the description, and there'll be a direct link to my written review when it's published. Don't forget to check it out for this. It really is more in depth. Let's crack on with the unboxing. We've got the Inakin Proton Mini Kit Ajax with some spare coils. Crack it open, see what's inside. See if we can get in. That's the thing I really like about Nick in the little gift box style and the presentation. Innovation inside. Now, I've never reviewed the Proton Express, but I have used one. I can't get it out. There we go, we got it eventually. That's quite thick, um, but other than it being a bit smaller in... smaller, it's pretty much the uh, Proton Express. I really like the pattern on the back. I want to keep it. A little toggle button there for to play with. We've got the tank. A little bit easier to get out. Spare glass, spare coil. And then in the accessory side, we've got safety warning, quite a big size uh, manual, O's, and well, spare rubbers really, you got the inside there as well, and a charger of. USB mini. Ugh. Oh well. At least we got a charger, I suppose. So, specs and features. Hold your app because there's quite a lot. First of all, the kit is 120 by 45 by 30. The mod 75 by 45 by 30. And the tank 73 by 45. Including the 510 pin. It weighs 255 grams. It's got an internal battery. Boo! But that's 3,400 milliamp power. The wattage range goes from 6 all the way down to 120. Up to 120. It has a max voltage of 7.5. E liquid capacity is 2. Or it also comes with a bubble glass which makes it 5 mil. It can handle resistance from 0 0.1 ohms or up to 3.5 ohms. It has a 2 amp charger in. That good. It has a 510 connection pin. It has custom TCR, which is a custom temperature control. Custom wattage curve set by every 0.5 seconds. It's got a bypass mode. It has free coil setting memory, which means it's got memory slots for free coils. You set say preferences, save them, then you flick through. It's rather than changing it every time. You can set custom screen servers. Yeah. You need the software though, so. Adjustable overtime cutoff protection. Adjustable screen brightness protection. No, oh, no. Adjustable screen brightness. Adjustable temperature. You don't have to do with Fahrenheit. You can deal with Celsius. It has time and date display. That's right. It actually tells the time. Overheat protection, overcharge protection, and short circuit protection. It has a navigation joystick. This little beast here. And it comes in six colours. 
all, and let's get on with my opinions. Let's not beat around bush, I like it. End of, I like it. There's things I don't like about it, but overall, I like it. I like it a lot. First things first, it is very much like the Proton Express by Inakin. Which, I've never reviewed the Express, but I have uh, sold and played with one. And I like that too. It feels good in your hand. No matter which way you hold it. I'm going to turn what is down because I'm finding it a little bit too high for this coil. So it feels good in the end. The shape of it and the fact that it's got a sidebar button means you can hold it pretty much whatever way. Now don't lie, we all like shiny things and it's very shiny. The plastic's got a nice reflective finish and the back is actually reflective. You can see yourself in it, do your uh, what not. It's great. One thing I don't like is the top doesn't lock. Now it is relatively uh, stiff but it doesn't lock and that quite pickles me off on tanks. I want my tanks to lock. Now the top mechanism which I find frustrating the most is the top mechanism is very much like the Z-Lied. Is lied, which I reviewed the other week. The big difference is the only difference is on the slide, the mouthpiece has an extra notch which locks the top shut. This doesn't. Sorry. But you can remove the top. Quite often, uh, the. I can't remember what it is, there's an Aspire tank. And it's got the rubber anti leak sealant ring in the top. But the top doesn't come off, so if that breaks, you can't remove it. With this, it's got two screws, so you can fully slide it off if you undo the screws, meaning you can replace the rubber, which is good. Something I know you guys won't like. The connection plate is smaller than the bottom of the tank. Now, I know for a lot of people like me, that doesn't really mean much, I don't really care. But I know a lot of people kind of go, oh, your tank's going to end up marking your mod, which is a downside, so be careful of that, guys. Another thing that quite pickles me off, the coils. Well, the 510 pin. The coils. Oh, God. Right, so the 510 pin, right over the bottom here, comes directly from the coil. Which means, because it's not a set unit, Quite often it won't, the tank won't stand up perfectly like so. Now I know a lot of people think you are it's quite hard to do that anyway, are they? You don't bounce perfect anyway. Yeah, I know, but I quite like to do it. And I can't most of the time with this tank. Now, I don't know if you caught on down, but at some point through the specs and features, I mentioned it's got a micro, micro USB. Now as if that weren't bad enough in this day and age 2019 guys we've got micro uh, USB-C we don't need micro USB anymore but as if I weren't bad enough the port's actually upside down so the flat bit faces up that's uh, come on just put that a little bit more effort in guys come on it has a whoppingly huge airflow I like it 3.7 in screen which is quite nice I like it it's colourful does its thing. You can also change the colour on the theme. I can't like mods like that. But hey ho! The curve uh, settings are quite fun. Now it's always a bad idea to set the curve like boo boo boo. So the like, first five seconds is zero, the next five seconds is 100, the next five sec 0 0.5 seconds is zero, the next 0 0.5 seconds is 100. That's not good to do guys. It's not looking after your batteries properly and you're going to end up destroying them. But I like to do it. It is great fun, especially when you go do I try my vape as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the biggest thing for me is I don't know if you watch the Twister kit. I really like the Twister kit, but I won't have one because it had an internal battery that can't be changed. Now, this is the same, but the battery has lasted me all day, most days. I've been using it at 80 watt with this tank, and I've also been using it at 120 watt with my dripper. Dripper. And, it, like I said, it's lasted all day, it's got two hour, uh, two amp charge, which means it's generally charged me about an hour and a half. Uh, no, uh, which means it's generally charged me an hour and 45 minutes, roughly. So, I mean, that, that's pretty decent. I can't really fault this kit. 
like I said, there's little bits and bobs that I'd rather be different. Rather, rather be different. Um, but as an all guys, it's pretty an awesome kit. The tank is an awesome flavour. Um, nice cloud as well. This is the smaller coil, um, 0.35, I think, ohms. And that fires between 30 and 55 watts. The 1 point, uh, 0.15 fires between 50 and 80. Um, and I mean, seriously, guys, this is 55 watts. You can't really complain of that, come on. Um, obviously, I prefer the 0.15, or I don't know if it's 0.15 or 0.16 ohms coil. Um, but as a whole, the kit is pretty darn good. Good. Kevin Allen, you won the multi, dude. Well done. So Kev, message me in regards to postage, Facebook or Instagram, please. And guys, you're looking at all and I had a chance for a Proton Mini Express. As per usual, all you need to do is comment down below. Press subscribe if you haven't already, because if you're not subscribed, you can't win. And by doing so, you'll be in for a chance of winning. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, i got some great things coming up, we've got e-leaf kits, we've got band of vape kits, we got it all. So make sure you stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, and most of all, don't forget to stay cloudy!